News from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Aldo Puccini. It's debate night in Tampa Bay. Mayoral candidates Jane Castor and David Straz are preparing to face off for the second time. Their first debate took place Friday on WEDU. This will be the final debate for the runoff election on April 23rd. The candidates will lay down their plans for issues like expansive growth, sporting events, and neglected communities. You can stream it live on the Spectrum News app at 7 p.m. Florida leads the nation with the most concealed weapons permits. Now it's about to break its own record. Megan Gillier tells us why some refer to Florida as the gunshine state. Florida is close to a new threshold, having 2 million civilians who can carry concealed weapons. At the current rate, the state will pass this mark before summer. According to the Crime Prevention Research Center, Florida leads the U.S. in the total number of currently valid permits. About 12% of the adult population of Florida has a permit. It takes about two months to receive a permit after applying. Permit holders are still not allowed to carry weapons in schools, government buildings, airports, police stations, or universities. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Megan Gillier. Walmart stores across Florida will be renovated with updated technology and a new look. Three Bay Area stores in Tampa, Oldsmar, and Riverview will receive upgrades this year. Walmart plans to expand its innovation programs. They're adding robots that can check and report each aisle stock. The company plans to spend $173 million total in Florida. Calling all coffee lovers! Wawa is celebrating their 55th anniversary by giving away coffee to their customers. Their first store opened in 1964. You can get any size coffee for free. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.